Hi everybody, this is Baha Kazi. In this lesson, we will learn about the data types of R and different, vec different objects of R like vectors, matrix, list, factors and frames. See the different data types. So the mostly used, most commonly used data types in uh, R are real, integer, character and logical. So like for the default data type for any kinds of number or numeric is double for example here we create a object x and we put the content value is 35.2 so it's double again we put the only 35 also double so if you want to create an integer we need to convert that as an integer cast that as an integer using as integer function and character here we just create a variable or the object name and put the character value and z is a logical data and we put is true or false logical is or the true or false so this is the logical data types now let's go to the r studio and see how if we create a variable x and we create put um, insert the value or assign the value of 6.7 so it's create a x and the content is 6.7 see what's the data type type of x double so now if you want to create a variable of integer type as dot integer of x so we create a variable x y as an as an integer so if now we see what's the data type of y of y is integer So now create a character type variable. So name so we create a variable of type character and a name. See is the content is Baha Kazi. So we create another variable Z and is the logical type so t r u true get a z and the content of the data for z is a true so it's a logical data type now go again to the slide so next slide we will talk about the objects is the vector objects so the vector basically the sequence of data elements of the same data type each element we can access using the index and we can extend the vector that means we can add new new values in the vector and we can modify the vectors so how we can create a vector we can use two function one is c function another one is assign function to create a vector so here we create a vector x using the c and these are the value content uh, the elements of x vector and we create another one y with the assignment so the y is here the variable name or the object name and the elements of this object are this so another one is another variable is another um, object vector object is y and the element of these vector objects are and this is actually the index so this one means the index of first element then others are. so each line is shows the only the first index of each line okay. and we can access like any of the element like we want to see the third element so y3 so it's the 30 y c is the 30 or if we want to create a new vector even the num or the even number from y so we say y y modulo 2 equals to 0 so we create a, ve a vector 
of even number 10 22 30 and 32 let's go to the R studio go to the R studio and create a variable or an object vector object X and another one Y I just copy and paste it just to make it faster control C control so another variable y so one is x and one another one is y two vector objects and the value of these objects are first one x is 10 20 20.5 30 32 and another object is y vector object and value or elements of these are now see how we can extract or how we can access the elements of a vector let's see if we want to access the third element or the fourth element of y we say just y the index number so the fourth element of y is 30.5 so like we want to create another vector from this y vector those whose are all the even number so you just create a even num a very a vector and this will come from y and the content of this even number is y y modulo 2 equals to 0 so any number modulo 2 is actually the even number so now see what the content of even number so 10 20 30 and 22 okay. so now let's see the next so vector operations so we can do many types of vector operations so for example, this is the even number we have already. We want to increase the 10% of each of the elements or each of the value of this vector objects. So we just even number multiplication of 1.10. So it will increase the 10%. Or we can do another operation 2 into x. So x is a vector plus y another vector plus 2. So what it will do? it will multiply each element of x by 2 then add the corresponding element of y and then add 2 to each of the element we can do the sum like even dot num so the summation of even dot num all of this we, or we can calculate the mean of any of the vector all the elements of the vectors so there are some other uh, functions we can use for in vector like max mean sort length of x that means length of the vector how many uh, elements the vector have then product and then variance so now go to the mm, okay so another important thing is the missing value for example if many data long database or lots of data so there is a possibility some of the data missing or there is nothing for example the students may one of the students doesn't submit their assignment so it's not zero he is not so so n a is the not available and it used in vector uh, r and we can use for example z is a variable and the vector this vector has the value of this so we want to calculate the mean of this vector so if we do the simply mean z it will give us the not applicable so we can do like z and n a this is n a equal r m equals to true so we said 
except an a so 25 so under the so it add all of this and mean of all of this then like we said that u another variable equals to z is n a z not equals to so not equals to n a so we create another variable u which doesn't have any n a value okay now let's see in the r studio okay so for example we say we want to increase the 10 uh, percent of all the elements of even dot num so how can we do that so we create a variable z and is equals to even num multiplication of 1.10 so z equals to z will increase 10 percent of this so if you say like 10 so 10 percent of 10 is 1 so 10 plus 1 11 so if you we want to do like the which the w assign to multiplication of x a vector plus y plus 2 so let's see what the content of w so w is x multiplication of 2 so we have x so first is 10 so 10 into 2 20 we have y 10 30 then plus 2 32 the same way is do for all the elements okay. for example we want to calculate the sum sum of even numbers even numbers so it will give the give the summation of all the elements of the even numbers or like mean mean even numbers it will give the mean or the average and another important we say, say the missing values so for example uh, we have a variable z and the element of this variable is 20 25 30 and an a z see what's the content so so the, these are the content 20 25 30 and an a so if we want to calculate the mean of all the elements of this z so for example m mean of z so it will give you not available so that's why if we want to do mean except not available values so we can do mean <coughs> of z can create a with u as in the u or just simply we can do the mean 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 uh, z comma n a dot r m equals to true true so it will give you the mean of all the elements except not available things or if you want to create a new variable like u here from z the except the not available values so we can say u equals u we assign u z and those elements those except the na so we said not is dot n 
a of z so u equals to 20 25 30 Now, the next slide, we'll see the matrix. The matrix is a two-dimensional vector. So we can create the matrix using the matrix function. So here M is a matrix and the matrix function. And we are using two variable X and Y we already created. And number of column is two. And here we create another video, another matrix M1 using the matrix function and the value is C the vector so 1, 2, 80, 82, 87. So and we said the number of rows is 2 and number of column is 3. So that means this one is the first element of first column, first row. And this is two is the s two is the first element of the second row first column. So same way. So this is first row. This is second row. First row, second row. And this two is the first column, then second column, and then third column. And so if you want to add the column names, so we can use the column name column name uh, function so column name m1 and the name of the columns are like this 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 okay. if you want to create the mean of m1 of one of the column so you we can do this so let's see how and one more slide so matrix for example we create a matrix one two three four two row two column so is a square matrix one two three four another matrix matrix two one two five six and two row two column another uh, two by two matrix and we multiply m1 and m2 so this is basically the multiplication of elements all the elements. so all the elements of this so one into one two into two three into five and 4 into 6 so this is the multiplication of two matrix but this two ma multiplication is the element products here we create another matrix m3 with number of row is 1 and number of column is 2 so one row two columns 1 and 2 and uh, is the element so we actually want to see how we can do the matrix multiplication so we here we do m3 matrix multiplication of m1 so this is the matrix multiplication so matrix multiplication of matrix 3 and matrix 1 since so because now matrix multiplication has some greater like number of number of columns is equal to number of row number of column of matrix 3 is equal to number of row of matrix 3 so like we, you can try with other way it you will see that it's not work so we can do the inverse matrix like solve m1 so it will create the inverse matrix some other functions n row n column so number of column number of row and transpose matrix then cross product of two matrix or diagonal matrix if you want okay now let's see go to the r and R studio how these are works <coughs> just to make it faster I want to copy this create one matrix M if you see you want to see what is M so M is actually this and I want to create another matrix M1 control C uh, if you want to see what the elements are M 
2 so this is m2 and if you want to add the column name of m1 so if you want to add the column name column name we use the column name of m1 m1 so the first column is a student id and second column will be the subject one and third column will be subject two so now if you see m1 so it will show you something like this mm. okay so now we will see some matrix matrix operations so i want to create another matrix like m1 another matrix m1 of two row two column and matrix two also two row two column so we have two matrix matrix one and t two one the elements one two three four and one two five six okay so i create this mat two matrix to show how we can do the elements to product so if you want to just do elements to products the same um, square matrix so just like m1 multiplication of m2 sorry m m a t matrix one multiplication of m a t two so it's multiply one 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 two two four three five fifteen and four and six twenty four okay now i want to create another matrix m a t three design matrix of C one comma two and this matrix will be N N row equals to so number of row I want one row and N and column number of column equals to two so in this matrix so i'm creating third matrix with two elements and number of row is one number of column is two let's see three so this is third matrix with one row but two columns okay let's see how we can do some uh a matrix multiplication M it mem three matrix multiplication. So this is the matrix multiplication operator. Matrix multiplication. So one. I want to do the matrix multiplication matrix three and matrix one. So it give you the matrix multiplication of one row. if we want to uh, uh, create the inverse matrix so we can use the solve function solve function of one of the matrix like m a t one matrix one so it will give you the inverse matrix of the matrix one so you can practice some other functions I already talked. So let's go to the slides. So you can try with other functions, metric function. Just use this. So the next object is the list. So list actually a kind of vector, but it takes uh, different data types like it takes the integer it takes the character so different types of data types okay 
so here we create a matrix uh, list using the list function and this list the contains one vector name is names and the uh, elements of this vector as this so this is character another element of this list is number no dot kids equals to three so this is integer and another one is age so this is also numeric so the character number numerics and if you see the list so it show you the element so this is first element this is the second element number and this is the third element of the list and third element have more than one element first element has more than one element okay if different way if you want to change if you want to keep the name put the name of of all elements on the list so we can say the name equals to names names is the variable and this is the name name is the element name of the list and then number of kids and then age equals to ages so ages is the vector that means the elements and age is the name of the element of the list so if the name number of kids and age if you want to see the specific elements of a list so the a list one and age so you can see that our list age of three a particular elements of the age okay, now again go to the r and see how we can do that same way for make it faster i just want to create copy this to the r so we are creating a variable a vector name is names and we are creating another vector the name of the vector is age so we have two vectors one is name and one is age one is numeric and one is character so now we want to create a list so we are creating a list here so list one using the list function and these are the elements of the list list one so this name is actually this vector and these ages is this vector so let's see l i s list one so it shows that first element of list is all of this second element that is number of keys of these and the third element is all of this so if you want to change this or if you want to put the name of this all of the elements of the list first second third so we can do this like just put the name all the elements so this name is the name of the first element this number dot kids is the name of the second element and age is the name of the third element of the list and this third element have one two three four five and first element has also one two three four five elements so now if you see list one so list one is now it's in the name kids and age okay now for example you want to see the now the age the third element or the age element of the list list one dollar of age so it will show you all the elements of the age element of the list so and uh, now if you want to access the specific value so you can do list one dollar h index for example you want to the fourth element so just show the seven 
so you can access any value so list is a useful very useful uh, objects in uh, R now go to the slides again okay, so the factors a oh, factor is also very useful factor is basically uh, an object that keeps the objects with different category okay so for example we create a variable or a vector p r o v and this is the province these all are the uh, province name so for example here we just take the sample of like um income of 12 people from different provinces uh, one two three four four different provinces so this is a vector of province and this is the factor of this province vector so we create a factor p r o v f of the province vector so the if we see the province so this is the and if we see the province f p r o v f so these are the elements and these are the levels one two three four so we have actually four types of uh, or four different uh, provinces so we create here an income for of all the people all the person of all the 12 person sample so, so here we actually try to create or to calculate the mean income of each province so we say province mean income t apply income so income province of f p or f and that means province factor because factor have the different levels so we can identify based on levels and then we set the mean so this function will do means based on the factors or the levels of incomes so if we do that we will find something like this okay. so or we can do like the frequency we can count the frequency of number of provinces here so we did the province frequency equals to table PROB so it will show you the province dot frequency let's see let's go again to the r studio and try to apply all of this so first so just for some say otherwise i have to write all of this i just make it faster Control c so create a vector of province and i uh, create a factor of vector province so factor so if you want to see p r o v f so it will show you the levels and all the elements okay so now i want to create another vector name income c so control v income so so these are the incomes of all the people all the 12 people in different provinces okay so now for example you want to uh, find the mean income or average income of all of the provinces so so we can do that like we are getting sorry province mean income okay so the the function we here use apply so first is the this will apply to which vector income based on factors or the labels 
province f and what we want to do we want to get the mean mean okay, now p dot mean income we want to see so new brunswick the mean income or average income is this newfoundland and labrador so average income this and prince of prince edward island so different a province has different average income okay. so let's see the next so this is the frame this is a very useful one it's basically for to do the frame for the tabular format if we want to do so here uh, and mix data type so different types of data type you can use so we use the data frame function to create a data frame so here we create a data frame using the data dot frame function and this data frame has the content is the province and the income and this province and income is the column name okay. and here and we can add new column or we can add new row of a frame so to add a new column we can use the c bind this column bind or we to use uh, to uh, to add a new row we can do the row bind so here so to column bind so this is the frame we want to add one more column and what we want to add, a, a add is the age age is the new column name and these are the value of the new column so let's do this in r studio so r studio so we create a data frame one its name is df1 and it's also for here df1 and the total elements is 12 so the total row is 12 and province and income okay. so if you want to add one column to this uh, to one column to this df1 so we're using the c bind function and using one column age to this df1 frame so now it's the three variables three variables so now if you see df one so here three column so province income and ages so same thing we can we if you want to add a row just use the row bind so in this uh, video tutorial we actually learn how we can or uh, different data types and how we can create vectors how we can access different elements of a vector matrix how we can create matrix different metric multiplication different operations list and factors and finally the data frame which is very important one and how we can add new column or new row in a data frame and so and next video uh, I will uh, show you how to read data from different files or and how we can write the data to a file so uh, hopefully you will also watch the next video and thank you thank you very much